Doodle Mac Doodles. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Menu Hacks. Sweet. This is a really cool way of entering Homebrew from a powered down 3DS or 2DS. You just hold the L button and power it on and it'll boot straight into the Homebrew. The only downfall with this is you have to have access to the Homebrew channel to install Menu Hacks. You can do that by using Ninja Hacks, OOT Hacks, browser hacks or any other method that you can use like iron hacks and other versions I have guides on a couple other ways of getting in here um, but uh, menu hacks is one of the simplest ways for just booting into the homebrew launcher so I highly recommend it uh, there's two pre steps that you need to do before you install any version of homebrew you need to install the starter pack on your SD card so you need to download the starter pack link on the screen and unzip that folder and then drag all the files in there into the root of your, of your SD card. I recommend deleting all the files on your SD card first but you might not need to. Uh, the second pre-step for installing menu hacks is you have to go to this little home wrench icon in the top left hand of the bottom screen and you have to go in there at least once and then go to change theme if you've never been in there before it's gonna create a directory on your SD card and do some stuff uh, you have to do this before you install menu hacks okay now I've, I've done that so the next step is just using some other method for booting into uh, homebrew I'm going to use browser hacks uh, for now I'm on 10.3 using the newest version of browser hacks which hasn't been patched yet so that's a pretty easy way to get in May it work? Come on. Okay. It's success. Okay. And once you're in the homebrew launcher, if you downloaded the starter kit that I provided, uh, there'll be an option here called Menu Hacks Manager. So go ahead and select that with A or touch it, and then you can have a couple options here. If you've never had it installed before, uh, go ahead and hit the install option. It's going to do some stuff. And then do some more stuff lots of stuff be done and I don't know if this is necessary but I always go ahead and press A to continue and then I run it one more time just to make sure you probably don't have to do this but I always do it um, um, okay. now uh, go ahead and just power down your 3DS or 2DS I'm waiting and you gotta hold that button for a while okay now just hold the L button nice and snugly on your 3DS and then hit the power button and keep holding the L button uh, while your system boots on and don't let go of it I recommend not letting go until you're booted into the homebrew channel so you're gonna get mr. glitch screen white screen green yellow red glitch BAM straight in and that's pretty much the fastest way to get into homebrew um, this can be installed on pretty much any version uh, 3ds firmware version so especially now that uh, the newest uh, update uh, is compatible with the current newest version which is 10.3.0-28 so that's pretty cool and um, if you need any guides for using browser hacks uh, to get in to so you can install menu hacks or you want a guide for installing iron hacks on the newest firmware or ninja hacks or OT hacks check out my other videos I have guides on all those too and I'll put links in the description so be sure to check those out and I'll see you again next time if you like this video give me a thumbs up or two leave a comment if you have any questions I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible if you need any help to help and if you're not subscribed subscribe because I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming out in the near future and for the rest of the foreseeable future so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time next time is the time that I'll see you if I don't see you next time I'll see you time after that dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun.